everyone, so today I am going vintage shopping and I thought you guys could come along with me. I'm obviously into sustainable fashion now, I'm not perfect, but I am on this journey and I'm super excited to bring you along on this journey with me because I just think we're at a time now where we need to be taking all of this really, really seriously and be as eco-friendly as possible and fashion being one of the biggest polluters in the world is a good place to start. So. That's why I've been loving vintage shopping and I've come to Notting Hill. I really think Notting Hill and Ladbroke Grove are one of the best areas to uh, find amazing vintage pieces, whether that's jewellery or clothes. And the first stop is the first collection. This is all jewellery and they have everything from like 50p necklaces to antique Gucci and Chanel. So I am super excited to go in here and see if we can find anything. like an Aladdin's cove, but when you walk in, there's so much to see, like so much gold, sparkles. I mean, I'm like a magpie, so this is my dream. I found a cabinet full of emeralds, and emerald is my favourite colour for jewellery, and also it's my birthstone, and there's a really cute ring down here. So I might try and see if I can try that one on. It's so pretty. I tried on the green ring which was absolutely beautiful but it was just way too big and then I thought oh I could have it adjusted but the material that it was because it's plated it would be really really hard for it to be actually made any smaller. Yeah. And then the last cabinet that I had a little peek into I found this little ring. So it turns out that this is a vintage Chanel uh, button and the shop there, the Hearst Collection, they have had it made into a ring and it is totally adjustable. I don't know if you can see the band goes all the way around and then you just kind of pinch it and it fits anyone and I absolutely love it. It's a lot more like statementy than I would normally go for my jewellery as you can see is normally very dainty but I think it's very cool. Second stop is to Emma Goldman. We are on Goldbond Road. This is one of the, my favourite roads in Notting Hill because it's kind of, so I've been told, what Notting Hill used to be like about 20 years ago. It's like loads of independent shops, amazing places to eat and some really great vintage shops. So Emma Goldman is one of like the best vintage shops in this area. Uh, I hear that they're really great for like jackets and coats. Obviously it's August and it is like hot but it's always good to buy ahead, so let's go and see what we can find. This is a vintage Burberry trench coat. It is amazing. It's really big, super, super oversized. I've like tried to really cinch it in at the waist of the belt, which is way too long. <laughs> but it is cool, I do like it. I think maybe it is just a, like too big, like you can see around here. But it's very nice. I went for that really cute top all the way down the back of these beautiful detailed buttons. I just think that's so, so lovely. The reason I love vintage shopping and vintage clothing is because I feel like every single piece tells a story and you don't necessarily know that story, but you can make it up in your head and just kind of like pretend that some glamorous woman has owned it for her whole life from like the 60s. And I just love that there's this history attached to every single piece. And of course the sustainability side of it is that you're recycling an item, you're kind of giving love back to an item that could potentially end up in landfill. And it means that you're not contributing to fast fashion, you're still enjoying fashion, you're technically buying new pieces, but they're old vintage pieces that already exist in the world. There is 
so many amazing things in here and most of it's all designer for really really good prices so many bags and shoes and i've walked past here a million times and for whatever reason i just never thought to come in here but um, i feel like i could spend a whole day in here <laughs> gone a bit crazy and picked up so much stuff it's just like an absolute paradise down here so downstairs is more like high streety so they've got loads of like zara this is and other stories beautiful beautiful dresses for like a fraction of the price and a lot of them are brand new they've got labels in so um we've just been trying to like figure out how it all works like whether they're donations or if um, they like buy items off of people it's like incredible i just feel like most people would walk past and not know that this is here it's brilliant so i'm back home now and i've got my bag full of things that i have got I really haven't been shopping recently, like just in terms of going to the high street, I just feel like I don't buy new things and I've had a massive clear out of my wardrobe literally two days ago where I filled loads of bags up and sent them off to charity shops and friends and family. So it's actually really nice to kind of find some things that are new to me but obviously they're not new at all, they are old and they are vintage, they've got loads of stories attached to them that we will never know. So yeah, we just need to make up those stories ourselves. And I think the best thing about vintage shopping is that you never know what you're going to find. It's like walking into this incredible vintage shop, especially the last one that we went into near the station, where I just knew there were so many hidden gems in there and you've just got to find them. Like I honestly felt like I could spend hours and hours and hours in that store, especially looking at all of the gorgeous shoes. They had Jimmy Choo, Valentino, uh, Givenchy, like all kinds. Um, I didn't even get a chance to look at, properly at the shoes. So I'll have to go back and have a look at them. But uh, I just wanted to recap all of the things that I bought. So obviously the ring, this is honestly one of the best finds for ages that I have got. I just absolutely adore it. I just, I was on the tube on the way home and I couldn't stop staring at it. I was just like, oh, it's so nice. And I just love that it's a button. I think that's really, really unique and something you just literally wouldn't find anywhere else. But a great idea for you guys at home, if you um, happen to have any Chanel buttons lying around or any nice buttons, I think it's really lovely to turn it into a ring. Uh, and then of course from Emma Goldman, this beautiful top. I don't know if you got to see the back very clearly. I didn't bother doing it up in the shop because there are a million buttons. But I just think that detail is so, so pretty. I imagine wearing this not with the trousers that I had on today or have on today. I haven't taken them off. They're still on. Uh, just because it looked all a bit like frumpy. So I think some really nice uh blue jeans or some white trousers i think that would look really really lovely and then the final place i had actually planned to go into somewhere next door to emma goldman called found and vision and it was closed absolutely gutted but everything you know everything's meant to be because we ended up going to the place retro women can't remember what it was called the full name of it but i showed you guys uh by the station and oh, just fell in love with so many things first of all i just want to show you this dress this one is by reformation reformation is one of my favorite stores it is actually sustainable in itself as well so to find a sustainable garment in a vintage shop which is a sustainable way of shopping is just like my dream so love that super cute quite simple uh but really love it and then i found this dress by bash really nice dress it's quite a short dress and I feel like at the moment most of my dresses are midi or long so I kind of feel like I need to stop being a granny and start buying some short dresses again so <laughs> went for another short dress oh and another short dress this one was from Faithful the brand another little cute short dress and it fit really really perfectly I don't why did I get three? Oh, I don't know but um needed short dresses. So there you go, loved all three of them. Uh, then these trousers, these are by Chloe. 
I don't own many designer items. Um, I really appreciate like all of the designer brands. I think their clothing is absolutely beautiful. The quality is incredible. And I really believe in purchasing higher quality items such as like designer items or handmade items that last longer. So they may cost more, but you're going to own them for longer. You're going to love them more. Hopefully you're going to like appreciate them um, rather than going in, you know, to some cheapest chips store on the high street and spending five pounds on a t-shirt that's going to fall apart and probably cost them 20p to make and the people that made it wouldn't have got a lot at all they would have got pennies um so that's a really long-winded way of explaining like why i prefer spending more but less frequently um but i still just i don't know why i don't have that many designer items in my wardrobe i think you have to really consider them. I'm not one to just go into a designer shop and spend hundreds or thousands like that. Like if there's something I really like, I really have to mull it over and think, do I need it? Do I love it? Anyway, when I saw these trousers, I literally fell in love with them. Tried them on and I'm not gonna lie, they're slightly too small. <laughs> I literally had to breathe in, hold my breath. Do up all the buttons quickly. And I mean, it works. I'm gonna have to have this jumper over it, I think, because there is no way in hell I'm going to be able to tuck anything into these trousers, like a t-shirt or something, which is how I think you would normally wear them because that would look super cute. But it didn't matter because I found this jumper. So this is an oversized jumper with huge arms, like they're super baggy. And I love it, they're really, really long, so you just kind of like pull them up and they're all ruffled on the arms. And then this, over these trousers, I just fell in love. Also, just so you know, you're probably thinking I spent hundreds on these, they were 60 pounds. So 60 pounds for a pair of Chloe trousers, I think is absolutely incredible. So I'm super, super happy. I was not actually expecting to buy that much. I more just wanted to go in, like have a little look and highlight how great vintage shops are. Uh, but in the process, I mean, it goes to say that they really are great and brilliant to shop in because I fell in love with so many pieces and I just know that there are so many more gems just sitting in those shops waiting for people to discover them. And most of these vintage shops, they put new things out there every single day. So, I mean, if you wanted to, you could go in every single day of your life and find something different. So I hope you have enjoyed watching this video and maybe it's inspired you to hunt down your local vintage shop and go and have a little look, see what you can find. You don't have to buy masses at all. You can literally go in, have a little wonder, have a little explore. And I think that process of just being in a vintage shop and imagining all of the stories, like where all of these pieces of clothing came from is just, it's quite magical. I really, really love that feeling. So even if you don't buy anything, I just think you'll enjoy it anyway. And you never know, maybe you will find an absolute hidden gem that is just waiting for you to take it home and give it a bit of love. So. Thanks again for watching and I will see you guys soon. Bye.